the Chalcolithic inhabitants of ancient Israel were a significant population in the region during the late 5th to early 4th millennium before the Common Era. These early inhabitants of Canaan descended from a mix of different ancestral populations with deep ties to the Natufians, Levantine agriculturalists, Anatolian Neolithic farmers, and even Iranian Neolithic farmers. The Natufians, who lived in the Levant around 12 to 9 millennia before the Common Era, were among the first known people to transition from a purely hunter-gatherer lifestyle to a more sedentary existence, laying the groundwork for early agriculture. Over time, this region saw waves of migration and interaction with neighboring populations, including farmers from Anatolia and Iran, which contributed to the genetic and cultural makeup of the Chalcolithic inhabitants of Israel. This period also laid the foundation for the later Bronze Age cultures of the Levant, such as Canaanites. The synthesis of local Levant traditions with influences from Anatolia and Iran helped shape the early urban societies that would eventually become the ancient Canaanite civilization, known for its vibrant culture and strategic position in the crossroads of the ancient Near East. Inhabitants of Israel in the Chalcolithic resembled modern populations of Arabia and the Near East and autosomal DNA, and mainly descended from the Natufian agriculturalists. For this video, I gathered the raw DNA of 20 Copper Age samples from Israel and ran them from my trade predictor tool for DNA analysis. The most common phenotype among the 20 samples were Middle Eastern phenotypes, although other phenotypes were also present, such as Stranded, Mediterranean, Pamirid, Alpinid, Ethiopid, and two samples were also predicted to exhibit a Nordic-like phenotype, one of those being low quality. Here is an average morph of the phenotypes predicted. The most common eye color among the 20 samples was brown, although there were four samples with light eye color and three samples with hazel eyes as well. The most common hair color among the 20 samples was black, although lighter hair colors such as dark blonde were also found among them. The most common skin color among the samples was light brown, followed by white and olive, and three samples were predicted to have dark brown skin tone, and all three of the samples who were predicted to have dark brown skin were low quality samples. The most common hair shape among the Chalcolithic inhabitants of Israel was curly, but straight, wavy, and kinky hair was also found among them. The most common nose shape among them was Greek, which is a aquiline, long, and narrow nose shape, and more than half of the samples were predicted to be shorter than average in height. When it comes to the warrior versus warrior trait, they had predisposition to the warrior phenotype, which means a predisposition to higher dopamine levels and lower stress tolerance. This is a typical predisposition for Europeans and populations adjacent to Europe. They had predispositions to average availability of D2 receptor sites, which predisposes them to average odds of ADHD and bipolar, as well as schizophrenia. They had average predisposition to bipolar disorder type 1. One of them had long form 5-HTTLPR, which is protective from depression and anxiety, and is most common in Europe. None of them were lactase persistent. They had a predisposition to a lower level of empathy based on OXTR genotypes. They had lower odds of cardiovascular issues and average levels of homocysteine, predisposing them to slightly lower odds of stroke or myocardial infarction. Regarding athleticism, their ACTN3 genotype distribution was similar to the Ashkenazi Jewish reference population on DBSNP, which suggests that regarding explosive power, their level of athleticism was similar to the Ashkenazi Jewish population. They had predisposition to a higher odds of epithelial cancer. They also had a predisposition to lower odds of autoimmune disease based on HLA genotype and lower odds of multiple sclerosis, average odds of type 1 diabetes, but slightly elevated odds of rheumatoid arthritis. They had low genetic predisposition to hemoglobin E disease and average levels of LDL cholesterol. They had predispositions to higher level of vitamin D, which is good, 
They had predispositions to higher glucose levels and lower odds of obesity, which overall predisposes them to average odds of various metabolic conditions like type 2 diabetes. Regarding telomere lengths, they were predisposed to slightly shorter telomere lengths and shorter lifespans. The most common blood types among the 20 Copperages Rileys were type A, followed by type O, and one sample was predicted to exhibit type B blood type. No samples were predicted to exhibit blood type AB. Check the description for links to research data as well as links to purchase the raw DNA files used for this analysis and my trait predictor tool, which can be used to generate DNA reports on the basis of raw DNA in microarray format, allowing you to recreate any aspect of this research on your own. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.